Hello guys, what's up? Adrian here from Epsid. So during this video, I will uh, say a few words. <clears throat> I will say a few words about the lat latest update of Datable Django, a popular open source starter provided by us. So the the application now supports a um, persistent R mode, uh, which uses the browser local storage for uh, to to remain persistent across uh, across uh, page updates. Uh, okay, this is the demo. Feel free to play with it. Uh, the source code is published uh, on GitHub under the MIT license, so you can use the product. Uh, in commercial projects or simply for e learning activities uh, of course the support is free in case you want to customize the the product and to update the change the database layer or uh, switch from django to flask you need to uh, go to the generator page and access the gener the live generator service which is free uh, just select the, um, the design here customize choose your your framework I will choose uh, Django this time. You can change the persistence here. Uh, you can choose from uh, SQLite, MySQL, and also enable or uh, disable the, the deployment layer. I will keep the default just to explain uh, to, to the newcomers uh, how AppSeed works. Uh, once you uh, visualize all the project options and uh, click Generate, uh, now the request is sent to the backend server and we need to wait a little bit to, to get the generated product. Uh, the first uh, asset that is available is the zip archive, which is the archive of the generated source code. At the same time, the sources are uploaded uh, uh, to GitHub uh, to be used later on by, by the developer. So uh, I will use the GitHub version and uh, run it in my local environment. We need to wait a little bit to complete the uh, to, to complete the upload. Once the upload is complete, uh, I will uh, download the, the project using uh, JIT command line and uh, start the application by following the instructions provided in the readme file so uh, in this case the project was generated with docker and probably the most easier way to start the project is to use the docker setup because it's just one liner you just need to, to type docker compose up minus minus build um, and the application should be up and running in the browser let's go back okay so the the process is finished uh, you can uh, access the GitHub uh, repository. You can download here directly the zip archive in case you are not familiar with JIT. I will use the, the GitHub uh, clone for now, for this demonstration. Okay. Okay, the, the project is, is downloaded. I will use... Uh, VS Code to, to open the project. So the um, let me increase the font size. Okay, so the application and comes with a simple structure. Uh, the apps folder includes all the application managed by the project. Authentication is of course uh, for authentication purposes. Home is the um, is uh, provides a generic generic router over the all uh, pages that comes from the UI kit, and uh, static is of course for for assets like uh, CSS, SCSS, uh, GS files, and images. And templates uh, is the structure that um, uh, where the the UI design is split it using um, using uh, the usual templates. We have here the layouts, it includes like uh, navigation, sidebar, footer and common components used in many pages. Home uh, saves all the, all the pages uh, provided by the UI kit and accounts uh, comes with the login and registration page. Okay, so let's go to the terminal and uh, start project. Uh, just, just follow up to, to use the project, just follow up the um, 
the instructions provided in, in the readme file. So you have here the instruction, the manual build, how to use the product on Mac OS and Unix and also on Windows. But uh, for this case, I will use the, um, the Docker setup. Uh, basically, I just run a single command docker compose up minus minus build the rest of the commands uh, i try to to kill the the previous uh, docker containers to avoid the conflict with with the running one so we need to wait a little bit because the docker composer does all the hard work for us set up the environment install the modules and the start application at this point uh, the application should be up and running okay we can see in the application uh, logs that um, the pages uh, are loaded and assets are served um, an important fact is the um, is that the application is not shipped with any default users so in order to access the private, private pages please uh, register a new user first so we need to go here let's create a super simple user okay user created successfully let's use it the application is up and running it's powered by by django we have here the dark mode which is persistent. We have many pages, a profile page, charts, form elements, tables, login logout is it's working. So guys, thanks for watching. In case uh, uh, you have any ideas how to improve the product, how to what uh, what new model should be added to the to the to this code base. Feel free to access AppSeed, go here to the support page, join us on Discord and uh, let us know uh, how we can improve the, the product. Thanks for watching and uh, wish you all a super, super day. Bye guys.